Hello there. It seems that some of the occupants of the red benches in the House of Lords would like to see their temporary accommodation sporting grand staircases and numerous bars and restaurants, while the upper house itself gets a much-needed refurbishment. Firstly, as ever, please kick that YouTube algorithm up the rear by giving this video a big fat like and I'm always uploading new content so please do check my YouTube channel daily. Now there is a plan developing to completely shut down the Palace of Westminster and decamp both the House of Commons and the House of Lords to separate locations for the duration. At present it looks like the Commons will move a few hundred yards to the north into Richmond House, in between the Cenotaph and the Thames and next to the famous revolving sign of New Scotland Yard. While our good lords will move a couple of hundred yards to the west to sit their ermine-clad behinds in the Queen Elizabeth II centre. But it has emerged that some of our lords are not content to get what they are given with a minimal refitting of the Queen Elizabeth II centre. No, they want the whole place basically rebuilt to be more befitting of them. The Express reports, Minutes of a cross-party Lords Committee meeting last month reveal peers discussed installing a grand new central staircase as well as transforming the sixth floor into a catering suite with bars and restaurants. With the new staircase bringing improved access options and more natural light, while the bars and restaurants can be serviced by chefs working in the basement. This will of course add huge amounts to the overall cost of the Westminster refurb, but the report on it said, a minimum level of reconfiguration and fit out of the temporary building should be carried out, except where it is essential for business need, security, building regulations or accessibility reasons. Now the refurbishment will take a long time, many years it seems, so this is not really that temporary a move. So you might excuse the Lords for being a bit protective of sorting out where they'll be working for this period. And that goes for the Commons as well. But the Commons temporary relocation seems to be taking a more reserved route than the Lords. The Commons temporary setup will try and mirror the chamber as it is now. And maybe that is exactly what the Lords need to be doing too. Otherwise they'll not want to be moving back any time soon, will they? But if this route of emulating the existing conditions is followed, does it represent a missed opportunity to reform the way our adversarial political system works? Especially when you see opposing, crowded ranks of MPs glowering at each other at PMQs, separated only by the thick red lines and dispatch boxes. So it might be nice to see a change in the layout of the two houses, but I'm not sure there's enough room there. And because of that, the first thing we'd need to do is reduce the numbers of those sitting on those red and green benches. Now there's a reform that's well worth pursuing. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug, with my mug on it. So, what do you think about the Westminster refurb? Please share and comment, and thank you for listening. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.